Hello YouTube. It's summertime. You know what that means? A lot of the people at the pool and doing out doing their summertime activities. This is the time when you gotta be vigilant. And you gotta know your rights and your freedom. Because law enforcement will take advantage of the summertime and they know people are out having fun and they'll know that this is revenue collecting time too so if you're not paying attention you can get tickets and everything else so you need to pay attention you need to protect your children and educate your children on their rights and their laws because if you don't law enforcement will take advantage of it we actually have allowed our government and law enforcement that includes ATF, DEA, all of them, all the government, to set up this tyrannical rule and law. Where they are in such a system, and they believe that they're in such a system that they're entitled, they believe that they're protected, and they are with quali qualified immunity. Thank God I live in a small town that I live in, because... We ain't got that many cops here, which is kind of a good thing, but kind of a bad thing, too. So, you have to know how to educate your children on how to protect themselves. And how to be aware of that danger, stranger danger, and all this other stuff. So, you always educate your kids on what the dangers of life are. Life is not just a bowl of cherries. It can be dangerous, it can be, heck, it could be a freaking garden full of th roses, you know, with the thorns. You know, it seems all beautiful, but the thorns are out there. But you sit back and you watch, just watch people, and they live in this oblivious world sometimes, where they don't even know what their local government is doing. They have no idea how much their local government is spending. They have no idea what their local law enforcement is doing they have no idea of you know what's actually going on around them sometimes you know our pool our local pool just opened the kids are out here enjoying the pool the families are there with the kids and that's great it's awesome but you always got to be aware of your surroundings situational awareness is a big thing to teach your children to understand to watch out for the backs and watch out for the friends watch out for the families and everybody else also biggest thing I want to stress is the fact that you always record law enforcement if they stop you and talk to you you always record them heck you go to the city meeting school boards and everything else record them put it on the internet put it on a blast I'm telling you because if you don't you are going to have a corrupt system around you. Now I'm telling you what, if you don't understand what Freedom of Information Act is, you better educate yourself on it. Public records, freedom of information. I'm telling you, if you don't understand what's actually going on in your local government, then you might be just living under a corrupt government that you don't understand. And... You see so many videos, and I've said this and I've stressed this in every video I've ever made. So many videos of law enforcement and judges, and look what's going on with Trump. Corrupt judge, corrupt DA, and everything else. If you don't understand what's going on, these people will actually hide what they're doing. And if you don't understand that a cop is allowed to resign and not be fired, and he goes on to the next department, that's called a gypsy cop. And he does abuse of authority and excessive force and everything in this department, but they let it, allow him to resign, and he goes on to the next department does the same thing. You better understand who and why they were fired or allowed to resign. Because if they're allowed to continue their activity, they're worse than criminals. 
because they are getting away with it with the badge. The badge and the gun allows them to get away with it. See, this society that they have set up and within their own ranks says that they can do whatever they want, collect as much revenue as they want, they can steal from the people, they can kick in the people's doors without warrants, they can do all this stuff. And you're seeing this more and more, that cops are getting arrested, they're getting exposed. Because people are starting to wake up. And if you don't wake up, I'm telling you, the way of life that what American people know is going to be gone. <coughs> you see these illegal immigrant, immigrants, <coughs> excuse me, immigrants committing crimes now. Because Biden and everybody has allowed them to come here. Well, you see them pushing their Hamas and their all their bullshit. And the cops are standing back going, well, da, 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 I didn't see nothing, I don't know. Or people are assaulting people in front of cops. And cops are like, well, I don't want to do my job today because, you know, the mayor <coughs> and the government has told me to stand down. To not enforce law enforcement. Not enforce the laws. Not, not protect constitutional rights and freedom. Because they have told them, you know, hey, now nah, you can't do that. What is it, law enforcement or political control? We already know the answer to that. It's political control. Control. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just getting over sickness. <coughs> but you need to understand where and how, what your lo local law enforcement is doing. And where they live and what they do. And You need to know, understand everything about them. Because if you don't, they're going to cover up corruption so deep that they can get away with murder. Like the ATF is trying to do right now with that guy that they raided his house at three o'clock in the morning. They shot and killed him over a few guns and maybe some paperwork error or something. Um, and they they raided his house. They put tape over his camera. I think putting tape over his camera, his doorbell camera, or his security cameras. I think that should be illegal. That should be like a body camera. If you cover it up. That should be like public, public records. If you cover it up, that should be a crime. Well, they do it all the time. ATF got caught spying on us. DEA, NSA, all these different organizations are spying on the American people. And if you don't understand what they're spying on and what they're looking for, <laughs> they're going to make up charges on you. So you got to be careful what you do online even offline or in public because people will say a lot of bullshit about you and if you don't have evidence of the fact you could possibly go to jail for no damn reason they interrogated one guy this last week for 17 hours straight he had a mental breakdown they got him to confess come to find out his father was alive that they said that he murdered law enforcement said he murdered him but yet he was alive, and they knew this. About five hours into the interrogation, they understood that he was alive and well. But yet they tortured and psychologically tortured this guy anyways. And that guy ended up with $900,000 of our tax money. Huh. Because law enforcement decided to play games with this guy. They thought it was funny. They thought it was hilarious. That this guy is being psychologically tortured. Well, it's not so funny when they end up going to prison for corruption and abuse of authority. Hey, come on, Jack. But yeah, it's stuff like this is happening where cops are murdering people. Hell, you have that one cop that just went to jail, prison, because he drove his car into a running subject or suspect. And pinned him between the car and the building and killed him. The guy died a few hours later. This is stuff that's going on. Cops are running over teenagers. There was one just recently where a, cop, a teenager was running. Cop hit him with the car and just plowed right over him. See, law enforcement is training. Is trained that killing is no big deal. Killing is no big deal. Come on, Jack. But yeah, it's like 
in their training, they're taught to shoot first. <laughs> they had that airman that was shot for answering the door with his gun in his hand. Not even pointing at the cop. He just opened the door and the cop, what, three seconds later, the cop shot and killed him. Didn't even give him a chance to drop the gun. So you need to understand that this stuff is going on. And with law enforcement, you're just as much in, da in danger with law enforcement as you are with the criminals. So you need to understand the cops see a gun, they panic. They are taught to panic when they see guns. And I'm telling you, you don't answer the door with the gun. Don't even answer the door at all. Look through the window. Don't even unlock your doors. If they go going to kick in the door, they're going to do it. If they got a warrant, they'll come through the door. If they come through the door illegally, that's a lawsuit, litigation. I'm telling you, you need to get educated about what's actually going on. Come on, Jack. No. Come on. But come on. No, come on. But yeah, you know, I'm telling you, you need to educate your kids to protect their future. Our kids are our future. And if you don't educate them, their future could be lost. And whose fault would it be? It'd be yours because you didn't educate them. Have a good day. God bless. Enjoy your summer. Stay protected. Stay safe. Remember, God's still in control. Have a good day.